Howdy, howdy. Hope everybody's doing all right. We got us a fine day in Dallas, Texas. Fine day indeed. And this job is all fine. Well, I'd like to report that I'm 100% right, but I'm not. I know I got to quit doing that or pause the video or something. I apologize, but I've had to cough, goopy junk for, golly, I guess I'm going on a week and a half. Hey, folks, we're crushing right next. Sorry about the glare. It's just, hey, this is where we put the crusher. It's kind of like this all day, but we're crushing right next across the street, across the street, across the tracks from a switch yard. There's a little action going down in the background. It's maybe after I drop the lid, I'll pause the video. Or and um, yesterday they were just right here beside us. It's like he parked the train and watched me crush for a little while. I swear. I mean, he could have parked it anywhere. I swear. Uh, well, folks, we got us some cars to crush. Oh, and that's another reason why I haven't posted too much. Just I don't, I don't feel good. It is when everybody's like this. I, I'm not complaining. Just I make it. Everything's gonna be all right. We'll, we'll we'll get the crushing and make some more. You know, this stuff's all gonna get disappear. So it's you know one of those kind of places. You put the work in, it's just gonna get better and better. And generally, I find that that pays off in a whole lot of situations. You put the work in, it'll pay off. We got to pull that mattress out. I ain't messing with it right now, but we got to get that. They don't the crusher the, the or the meal doesn't like that stuff. I think it it don't like it just ends up wadding up where things are pinned and bolted to. Oh, I forgot he unbolted the wheels, but Ali, I ain't shaking this truck. I forgot he unbolted the wheels. Dang. Dang, dang, dang. So once again, when it comes to these wheels, this is all customer discretion. Um, they said they only they said all they want is steel wheels. I mean, golly, I apologize. Aluminum wheels. That's they don't want. I mean, I can shake it a little bit, but things just, trash is gonna start falling out. Mario doesn't like to come over here and knock them off. Hey Mario, I bounce mucho basura afuera. I don't know how to say bounce in Spanish. You know how I bounce the car and the, the wheels will fall off? We'll get another one here in a minute with no trash in it, but golly, there's a shoe sticking out right there. That's like the heel of a shoe. Like, golly, I hope it's a shoe. I hope it ain't connected to anything. I can't believe they're crushing it. I mean, these things are getting popular. They're talking about like my dad's generation. They're talking about, you know, that was 57 Chevy or that tri-file. I mean, my dad's talked about a, a, a station wagon, but not a state. What do they call them? That was 57. Hang on. I'll figure it out here in a second. Um, golly, what do they call it? That's how sick I am. I'm going to try to clear a hole over here and um, maybe we'll get a little bit of this rail action. But yeah, yesterday they, they, he was right here on this he park right here. And we, I gave him the what's up. He gave me the what's up. And he watched me crush the carbs. Hey, here's my proof. I mean, I doubt. 
I will be accused of anything, but I didn't set that SUV on that Thunderbird. I didn't do it. Out of this whole pile, that's what they want. They do not want to crush. Oh, we won't be crushing anything that's not stacked up. Oh, I mean, they might pull something out, out of the yard, and, you know, like, hey, you know, let's, you know, that happens sometimes. Let's go ahead and crush a couple more. Um, but anyway, there's my, I didn't do that. Hey, y'all want to see something? Hang on a minute. We found a couple goodies out of these cars. Try not to make messes. But, uh, all right, so y'all see that little forklift over there? And I, that's, it's got, you know, it's got the four wheels in the front. The, where's my finger? There's my finger. It's got two wheels on each side. So that, that means it's meant to pick up some heavy stuff, but it's a little forklift. That's how all these cars got all got stacked over here. And there's SUVs and big truck, you know, there's heavy stuff. I wear no super duties, but I wish Mario would have took that wheel off. I mean, that's that's right there, probably be a desired wheel here in a couple years. I mean, I'm pretty sure somebody right now is like, golly, I wish I had that factory set of wheels. I think it's a 96. Oh no, it's got a it's got a lock on it. Dude. Dang, I don't want to. I mean, it is what it is. Oh man, maybe just a stud rogue. That's what it looks like. I think the wheel. I mean, other than it just getting slammed into the ground face first, uh, maybe the rubber took a lot of that beating. But uh, hey, we didn't even pop the tire. I'm sure those would be desirable. Now me scratching it across the ground. Let's see if I can roll it over. There we go. I don't know. I think Mario's stacking the wheels up over there. We'll get something crushed here in just a second. Well, all right. I don't know if y'all can see through that hole. Let me see if I can find it. But we got a little. We got some train action going down. They're moving something on the other side. There to go. Maybe they'll get it all stacked up and then drive it down these lines. Easy. All right, so we got to get this mattress out of here. It's covered in trash. We got a couple options. We can poke the back glass, but it looks like a bunch of junk's in that way. So if we fold the hood down, I mean the hood, I think we fold the cab in, maybe I can pick up one side of that mattress and dump that junk in the truck and pull that mattress off. What y'all think? Sound like a plan? I mean, probably still going to end up making a mess, but we, you know, initially attempted not to. Oh, there's two mattresses. Oh, oh, oh. What y'all think? I, think so, I mean, some of it went in there. I'm pretty sure some of it went on the ground. Now look, uh, this is this is the the part of the job that you got to have. I mean, any, not just the part of this job, but anywhere in life, you got to have integrity. You got to do the right thing when nobody's looking. That's 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 the. Our boss knows that all he's got to do is give us an address. We set up, we start getting the work done. We call them when we're done. They're not out here watching, checking. I need to get that out of the way. But um, I could easily cheat and try to attempt to fool the meal with putting this, uh, like this half this uh, camper shell, right? We'll stick it over the top. It all just looked like a bunch of metal crushed in together. I can do that. Right? It just, all they won't notice, it'll just look like a bunch of metal on top of metal. But they got a system out there with these paint cans, these spray paint cans. 
and they got four or five colors. And then each company or whoever, whoever brings their stuff, it'd be like, all right, this company gets a blue stripe, second stripe is red, third stripe is green. And just changing them three combinations right there alone is a whole bunch of codes or, you know, identifying markers that could be assigned and you come up with. So they know your stuff's going through the middle. They know whose stuff's going through. But anyway, we're going to do the right thing. We'll apologize to the customer. Say, I know in the past we, you've gotten rid of, you know, it was kind of that stuff was allowed or whatever. But we can't do that stuff anymore. So we're going to exercise some integrity and do the job the right way. Well, we discovered that there's a gas tank in the back. Let me run out there and uh, Mario's busy. Let me sh put my hands on it and see what's going on with it. Well, I discovered there's a tire underneath all this junk. Well, there's one piece got knocked out. And we can't, we can't have it in there. And I'm just trying to poke and pick and see if I can find it. That's the first step. I hope this isn't boring, but car crushing just ain't about sticking a car in the crusher. It is sometimes, but not out here. These are... Where is that stupid tire? I know it's in there. I can't see. Maybe if I take these sunglasses off, I'll quit wasting y'all's time. All right, let's crush something. Sorry for wasting y'all's time. Here we go. These tailgates, I like to just slide the, the truck all the way to the... I'm running over something. I like to slide the... And this, this is what I really sit the switch yard a lot. Trucks. Trucks. Oh, it was that plastic... Uh, looks like, well, it looks like a transmission pan. All right, here we go. Golly, I'm still not ready to call these things OBS. Oh, and speaking of uh, rail fanning, watching some train stuff. See that train in the background? We don't get to do that every day. But that thing don't move. It hasn't moved. Well... I didn't like it either, folks. I shut my eyes. I don't like crushing cherries. Can y'all see? Look, y'all see this hole in the crusher? We got train action, folks. How cool is that? That truck ain't got no motor, so I'm gonna put this car with the with it with its motor on that end. Get on in there. Oh, you wanna holler at me, huh? All right, we might have some tire popper action. I know we got some train action in the background. They're backing up again. Guess they're gonna go get another rail car. See, there's another truck with a load of lumber. This action pack car crushing out here. All right, let's uh, whatever that is sitting on top of that Thunderbird, let's get it off. Oh, that's a freaking Sequoia. Is that what that is? I need to, how am I going to get it off? I just need to pick it straight up. I, that's what I need. I don't want to do any more damage to that. That one has already popped. Oh, bop, bop, bop. Don't push down on it, man. Just pick it straight up. Don't tear up that car any more than they did. Uh, man, I think I should... Oh, don't tear up the tail light. Your dad could probably use some fresh. That's a good looking tail light. Yeah, my dad and my mom got one of these. A 
crazy. Jeez. I guess I ought to quit making this video and and calling. Like, hey man, let me just have him, oh, we'll get them tail lights from my dad. Airbags are blown. Oh, I guess I need to get a well, I think I see him too well, but so my dad uh, when he goes through like drive throughs or whatever, he puts all his I, well, I guess I shouldn't be telling the thieves this, but um, he puts all his change in the ashtray. And he was saying that one time he pulled up to this uh, stoplight and there was a lady and I think he said the lady had a kid with her. And my dad's like, hey, uh, put your hands together like a cup. So you got your hands. And he dumped all that um, change in her hands, but he accidentally dropped the actual ashtray and it shattered right there on the ground. Well, he calls Toyota, hey, uh, well, I broke my ashtray. And I think, golly, this had to be 10 years ago. And I'm trying to get that stupid. Anyway, I don't want to shove it all up on Mario. But uh, it calls Toyota, and I think they wanted 135 bucks, is what he told me. <clears throat> so at the time back then, the Sequoias were really popular. They were really expensive at the auction. Hardly, hardly ever did my buy we get them because they would just go for such big money. You know that's one of the that's like the number one kept vehicle in America. Toyota Sequoias. People that get them don't let go of them, and uh, really popular. So the parts are expensive. Well, I found him two ashtrays, and luckily these ashtrays they got a uh, two plastic screws, and the cover of the ashtray you can you can change that out. So he just popped his part out and and got to work an ashtray or not even an ashtray for my dad it'd be a coin collection station all right yeah that was my dad that gave me that integrity Uh, yeah, I'll get some of this uh, this stuff moved here in a bit, and we'll get a better view of the switch station action. Huh? Car How about that? Real fan and with your car crushing. Well, here's an opportunity that I can work on my high blood pressure. Oh, I'm self-diagnosing myself. I was a combat medic in the Army. I worked in a hospital for a little while. Went to nursing school for a little while. This wasn't my thing. I could have passed it. For real, for real. I could have been a nurse. I, I wasn't failing. It just wasn't for me. I'm a caring, nice guy, but... Anyway. Uh, I'm going to hop down and I'm going to do some housekeeping. I'm going to clean all that up while this car's over here draining. Look here. Easy. Kansas City something. How about this? <laughs> Some rail fanning with your car crushing. Dang. It's like giblet gravy with your Thanksgiving. Oh, come on. Maybe you're going to park them tankers right next to me. Watch some ricochets out of here. Hey, that truck still got the key in the door. That's heartbreak city. All right, well. Oh, yeah. See, I put some trash up there so we have a reason to crush, but. Crush flat. One. Car crushing with 
It's a rail fan. All right, so what I really need to do, I could do some more. Uh, therapy high blood pressure reduction therapy need to go ahead and get all this kicked up I mean typically that's not my job <laughs> but I'm gonna get it all lined up because I'd like I want to put my bundles here that's why I want to put my bundles we probably still got two more loads to crush <laughs> That's two more opportunities for, for some rail fanning to go with your car crusher. All right. I just cleaned up. Now I gotta knock off this dangling mirror. There's a question I often wonder. You know the superstition about if you break a mirror, it's like seven years bad luck or something like that? Well, surely that bad luck don't go to me because I'm, if so, I'm completely screwed. Like I'm screwed. But I'm a pretty lucky fellow. I'm a pretty lucky, lucky fellow. Not that, you know, I win stuff, but I'm already a winner. Got a great little family. My kids are in good schools. Got a good job. I got awesome friends and family from YouTube. You know what? I should have moved that truck over. Stop. Retract. Oh, slide back a little bit. There you go. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, how about that? Instead of uh, instead of calling that stuff trash, high blood pressure reduction therapy. There's people that pay money for that. You know, it's all about frame of mind. I can look at it like, God dang, I got to get down there and do some real work. Or I can look at it like, hey, there's another chance for you right there to keep yourself he healthy. From having this sedentary job you got sitting here all day, right? Right? It's all how it's all how you look at everything. So it's the right frame of mind. There's a silver lining to everything. I promise. Well, I was hoping for a little better action than this. You know what I'm thinking? Seeing how I'm a pretty known guy, a celebrity type, you know, person. Um. Um. They're probably like, hey, that's Cowboy Car Crushing over there. He's going to be videoing over in this, uh, you know, he has the possibility to video into the switch yard. Put something over there. Block that block that stuff off. Dang. Freaking player haters. All right, Cadillac converter is gone, and the spare tire is a steel wheel. Oh, you know what? I think that's what my dad was asking for. He was saying, John, if you can find, I would like to have like a real uh, matching spare wheel. But I'm going to go ahead and, I mean, I might run it right now trying to get this door open. I mean, I'm going to try, but I mean, might as well see yank a set of headlights or taillights. I mean, they, they look pretty nice. Well, I don't think I got them. Hey Mario, es mismo truck in mi papa. Maybe the loose. Extra. 
It's me, my truck, me mama, and me papa. I'll take the lights. I'm serious, folks, about that. Uh, one of one of the number one kept vehicles is these Sequoias. All right. Looks like there might be some kind of goodies in the bag. I'm not sure. I see a car seat. I don't know. You never know. Hey, even times we find like household supplies, like cans of Lysol, uh, kitchen counter cleaner, uh, Scotch Guard, or spray starch. You'd be surprised. Well, I thought he was gonna take the wheels off. That's why I started. I started setting stuff over here, and he started popping the wheels off. Oh, he was he was shoveling. There's somebody set of coveralls. I mean, my, them things might clean up, but I know I got some. I'm pretty sure Mario's already got a set. What's it? What's it? What's it written on? Converter stopped up. Engine low oil pressure. Timing chain noise. Converter stopped up twice. I think Mario's already done a screwdriver out. Man, you get this thing draining and I'll get the lights. If you get the lights, bro, it's not like I get the credit, man. Like, I pulled them, Dad. You know, here's the screws to go with it. <laughs> Appreciate it, Mario. We keep the work going. Well, it's moving on the track behind us. I guess they're stacking up loads. Well, I got them lights. It's a, it's a, it's a real uh, wheel he wanted. I can't remember. Did this thing have a couple wheels on it? I'll have to rewind the video here in a minute. Tell you, I ain't feeling good. Brain ain't working right. the engines behind it with some lumber sorry about the glare I wiped, I wiped clean that window yesterday I just hit the windshield wiper oh take it take it take it oh it had some um, aftermarket wheels on it that's what it had on it. Well, we're doing it, folks. We are out here crushing cars. I guess the next thing I'm going to pop is going to be this, uh, what is this, an Armada? I don't know. That might be pretty heavy. Turn it around for Mario. I mean, here comes some engines. I wish I could see it better. They're coming our way. Pretty freaking cool. Better save some time. About to run out of time. I can only do about a 32 minute video. Well, folks, Mario's got one draining. I'm going to start another video in case we get some more of that rail fan in action. Also, I got to go because I have an appointment for some high blood pressure reduction therapy. It's that time. I got to go. Y'all be careful. Be kind. Thank you.